Unit 15: The Adventures and Influence of Arsène Lupin, April 25th. Arsène Lupin was the creation of French writer Maurice Leblanc, 1864 to 1941. Though Leblanc's novels and other works met with reasonable success, he's generally remembered for Lupin today. Lupin was created for a commission by a magazine editor. Who wanted something resembling the adventures of popular British characters Sherlock Holmes and A.J. Raffles, another gentleman thief? The arrest of Arsène Lupin was a hit and led to numerous other short stories and novels, guaranteeing Leblanc financial success and lasting fame. Given that Sherlock Holmes was one of the inspirations for Lupin. In particular, the latter's intellect and mastery of disguise. It's perhaps no surprise that Holmes appears in multiple Lupin stories. The great detective is the perfect rival for the master thief. At first, Leblanc just included Holmes as a character in his stories. In their first encounter, Lupin steals and then returns Holmes's watch. However. Holmes's creator, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, evidently didn't appreciate the idea of someone making money off his character, and Leblanc rather unethically never actually asked for nor obtained permission to use him. Doyle's attorneys tried to put a stop to things, but Leblanc and his publisher had already promised their readers more confrontations between Lupin and Holmes. To fulfill these promises. They simply modified the detective's name to Herlock Sholmes. English translations of Leblanc's works sometimes use this or Holmlock Shears. Interestingly, both Lupin and Holmes are now in the public domain, meaning anyone can legally use them in their own stories. Perhaps they will cross swords on the page or on the screen one day.